Can I help you? Uh, that's okay. I think I'll help myself. <laughs> Oops. Heathcliff? Not again! <laughs> oh, Heathcliff, look what you've done. Leave him alone. He ain't done nothing. Hasn't done anything? Why, he is totally responsible for this poor man's condition. Why, you took that fish without paying for it. You always take fish without paying. Hmm. But you're paying for it now, aren't you, Heathcliff? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't listen to that guy. Take that fish and let's go. <laughs> You're always doing bad things, Heathcliff. Stealing fish, fighting, dumping trash cans, and just generally being a bad cat. My goodness, Heathcliff, what's to become of you? He's clear. He's clear. We're real happy to see that you're all right. Heathcliff wanted to come down and tell you in person that he won't be bothering you anymore. That's right. Heathcliff's turning over a new leaf. He's gonna be a good cat from now on. Hey, Mr. Milkman, don't worry. Heathcliff's changed his tune. He won't be bothering you anymore. Thanks, Heathcliff. Spike, old buddy. A glorious day, isn't it, Spike? Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Heathcliff. Uh, so long, pal. Ah, brother dear. It seems once again we have been shown the way to freedom. Yes, my dear sibling. And we shall not waste one precious moment. <laughs> <laughs> What a pleasure, not having to worry about that fat orange cat stealing my fish anymore. I don't know who this fat orange cat is, brother dear, but perhaps he should watch out for the Siamese twins! Yahoo! Oh, my fine sibling, that was a delicious snack! How about we go out now and have some fun? <laughs> ah, Chubby Poochie, you are about to battle with the, the Siamese twins! Come on, come on, I'll myrtleize you. Yeah! It looks like those two cats are taking over Heathcliff's territory. What's going on? What's the trouble? 
<laughs> What's the trouble? Huh? The whole town is being destroyed by your cat! Hey, Cliff! Huh? I wonder what all the commotion's about. There he is! Uh, thanks for dropping by. I thought you had learned your lesson, Heathcliff, but I guess I was wrong. Now get out of here! Oh, so I'm gonna get a burn it, because I'm gonna be the darling of the swine to be afraid to talk to me some time later. I'm gonna let you give him double the other two. Hey, Heathcliff, why so down in the mouth? Oh, I can't believe it. I've been good for one whole day, and still everyone's blaming me for their troubles. I think someone's trying to frame me. Well, it ain't us, Gus. Yeah, there's two new cats in the neighborhood, and boy, are they tough. Two new cats, huh? Well, that sheds some light on the situation. <laughs> Ah, dear brother, looks like bigger fun than this is coming our way now. A fancy cat with a fancy hat! Hung! He's looking at you, kid. My, my, such behavior is totally unacceptable. I must teach you lads some manners. Oh, teach us manners, eh? Fancy cat, you are about to tangle with... The Siamese Twins! <laughs> well, you're about to mess with Heathcliff. E against those two. Heathcliff ain't gonna do nothing unless he gets some help. I'm going in there. He's got guts, but I think he's nuts. And so are you two. Come on. It is all over for you now, fat orange cat. You have been foiled by... The Siamese Twins! Foiled and smoiled. I ain't packing it in yet. I hope this works. So this is what doing good deeds gets me. Thanks, Hector. I'll take it from here. Oh, that orange cat. It seems that you have twin packed us. The Siamese twins! Yeah, well, that's because you have come up against the terrible fury of Heathcliff and. The Alley Cats! <laughs> Any last words before I pronounce sentence? Yes, fat orange cat. You may have won this time. But you have not seen the last of the Siamese Twins! Now, now, Heathcliff, remember you promised to be a good cat from now on. Come on, Heathcliff. You tried being a good cat, and where did it get you? So what do you say, pal? Flick the little party pooper off of your shoulder, and let's have some fun. Heathcliff, you're one cat in a million, without a doubt. When you decide to choose a dog for a pet, the first thing you should think of is the dog's size. Very large dogs may frighten young children, and uh, even if they are just playing, can cause a serious injury if they bite. 
Small dogs aren't recommended as pets because they're too fragile for roughhousing with the kids. But a dog in the middle should be just right. Goldilocks never had to put up with this.